This is MMA Outbreak. Time to introduce both of our guests for today's Oddsbreaker segment. First, the managing editor from MMAOddsbreaker.com, Maddie Simo. Maddie, welcome to the show. Thanks, great to be here. Also joining us once again, professional gambler and also from MMAOddsbreaker.com, Mr. Luca Fury. Luca, welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me on. Glad to be here. Now, of course, you guys know how the show works, but for those that don't, BetDSI is our sponsored sports book, and they've donated a 5K bankroll to both guys. Now, they get to bet $500 either on the favorite or the underdog. I've selected four fights for today, and we're going to get started with the first one. Comes to us from UFC on Fuel TV 4, July 11, 2012, from San Jose, California. Now, the first fight is Mark Munoz versus Chris Weidman. It's going to be the main event, and we're going to start off with Maddie first. Maddie, I'm going to open up Chris Weidman. Minus 125, the comeback on Mark Munoz is going to be minus 105. So basically a pick em fight. Give me your thoughts. Well, I think you said it all right there. It is basically a pick em fight. And I always try to make a case for the underdog. And this is one, I think we have some value on uh, Munoz due to his experience and what is really otherwise an even fight. Now, Munoz is 7-1 in his last eight fights. He's 7-2 in the UFC. In comparison, Weidman's 8-0 overall and 4-0 in the UFC. Now, both have beaten a common opponent in Damian Maya uh, via unanimous decision. Uh, in fact, Weidman's last win came over Maya at UFC on Fox 2, January 28th. Now, I think the only reason Weidman's favorite in this fight is because he's unbeaten. It's really a toss-up fight. It should be a close fight. But I'll, I'll take the more experienced fighter for a small price here in back Munoz. All right, good stuff for Maddie. He's going to go with Mark Munoz as a slight underdog here, minus 105. So it's going to be 525 to win $500. Let's throw it over Luca Fury. Luca, do you agree or disagree with Maddie? I agree with a lot of the points he made. I do think that Mark Munoz probably deserves to be the favorite based on who he's fought and the experience he has. And I think that Maddie's right, and Chris Weidman's probably only the favorite because he's undefeated and has a lot of hype behind him. But I actually do like Weidman in the fight. They fought one common opponent, like Maddie pointed out, Damian Maya. But I thought Chris Weidman did better against Maya. I thought he definitely deserved the victory, although it was a close fight, whereas Mark Munoz, I thought, got outboxed and should have been uh, on the losing end of a decision, but the judges gave it to him. Um, but other than that, as far as their skills line up, I think Weidman is either even or a little bit better in every area. As far as the striking goes, they're pretty even there, like I said, but I would give a slight edge to Weidman based on being a little more technical, and also he doesn't have the chin issues that Mark Munoz has. Mark has been hurt in a lot of fights, and that's definitely a concern, even though Weidman isn't a big power puncher. As far as the wrestling goes, Mark Munoz has been out-wrestled in fights or not been able to take opponents down when he should have been able to. He's also been taken down by guys who shouldn't have been able to take him down, like Chris Lieben took him down a couple times when he shouldn't have even been able to come close to doing that. As far as jiu-jitsu goes, I would give the edge to Chris Weidman. He's done a lot of things in jiu-jitsu tournaments in a very short time of training Brazilian jiu-jitsu that really shouldn't have had the success he had. And so I would give the edge overall to Chris Weidman here based on being either a little bit better or even in every area. I think the fight is probably going to be a close decision either way, but I think there's a the potential for Weidman to steal rounds with takedowns or maybe uh, hurt, hurt, um, hurt Mark Munoz as well. So. I would put my money on um, Chris Wyden here. It's not something I'm super confident in, though, and I, I wouldn't bet him at a much higher price than minus 125. Okay, good stuff from Luca Fury. So you are going to lay the slight juice, 625 to win 500, Chris Weidman. Now, both of our experts split on this fight. Stay tuned for what me and Miguel have to say later in our odds adjustment segment. Well, that's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. You can look for the odds that Nick broke right here on the show to start popping up at the sport books throughout the coming week. And a big special thanks to our two guests, Maddie Simo and Luca Fury. Thanks again, guys. A lot of great information. Also, make sure you check out our new website, MMAOddsbreaker.com. And for all the latest show updates, make sure you follow us on Twitter, at MMAOddsbreaker. For Miguel Adorati, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.